Good morning, this is Bill Savell. I'm here in the Weathermatic Training Facility. Today we're going to learn how to program the SmartLine controller. The SmartLine controller has two modes, the standard mode and auto adjust. The first segment of this video will include the standard mode. We'll learn how to program the controller just to water standard. The second video will include the auto adjust mode, which turns the controller into a weather-based controller and really gives you the opportunity to save and optimize your watering schedule. First, uh, the standard mode controller consists of four programming positions. Set your current time and date, simply means what it says. Set your time and date where you live. The next is the program option. The program option allows you to set start times. The start time determines when the irrigation cycle starts. And be sensitive to your local water restrictions. Many areas don't allow you to irrigate between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. The third position is zone run times. That's how many minutes your sprinklers run in the individual zones. Some of those zones may be in turf areas and need to run longer. The other areas may be spray zones that are in shrub areas and need to run less amount of time. Fourth, you're going to set the days to water. Again, be sensitive to your local water restrictions. You may only be able to water two or three days a week. Uh, if there are no restrictions, typically watering every other day is fine. Once you've completed the four-step programming process, you're going to put the controller back in the run mode and you'll be ready to irrigate. Step one, we're going to adjust or set the current time and date. Turn the dial to set the term time and date position. At that point, you'll see the hour characters flashing and you'll use the up adjust value button to make that adjustment. We're going to set the the time and date to 10 a.m. Use the up value button to adjust the value up. Continue to scrolling until you see a.m. or p.m. indicated. Note that you'll have to scroll in 12 hour increments. Once you set the 10 a.m., hit the next button and we're going to adjust the minute value. Notice the minutes will be 00, zero and continue to adjust that value up or down if you want to say 1030. Just use the adjust value button to adjust it up or down. After completing this process, you'll hit next again and you'll see the month. Today's date is August 1st, 2012. So adjust the up value button until you see 08. Then hit next again, 01 for today's date, and then next one more time to adjust the value until you see 2012 indicated in the last portion of the display. The last step will be hit to hit next one more time, and the current time and date should be correct on the controller at that point. Return the dial to the run position, and the time will be displayed on the display at that point. Okay, step two, program start times. Turn the dial to program start times. At that point, you'll see the number in the far left-hand corner indicating the first start time in program A. So if you look in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see a small program A. At this time, we're going to define what programs are. There are four programs in the controller, A, B, C, and D. Each program has the ability to group zones to specific plant types, like I might have all my turf on program A, or program B might include all my shrubs. In program C, I like to use C for color because flowers and colors make sense. And then finally, program D is typically used for drip. And the unique thing about program D is it can run at the same time as program A, B, or C. So remember that note. Secondly, how do I adjust or get to the programs? Notice there's a program button in the upper left-hand corner, and that's indicated by PGM actually embedded on the program button. So looking at the display now, we should be able to see program A and 01 for the first start time in program 1. So what we're going to do is set program 1 to 8 a.m. And we're simply going to do that by hitting the next button until the hour is flashing and then using the adjust value buttons to adjust up and down. Again, these are in 12 hour increments, so we'll want to make sure that the a.m. or p.m. is correct on the far right hand corner of the screen. Then you'll hit next one more time and you'll see a two indicated in the left hand corner. That two indicates the second start time. You may or may not need this, Note, the programs do have eight start times available, and at this point I can continue to toggle between each one of the start times, or I can return the controller back to run, and the start time would be set for program A. Now, the next step in programs, I would indicated earlier that program A might be all your turf zones. So now we're going to toggle to program B. Push the program button in the upper left-hand corner, toggle to program B, and again, you'll see the 01 indicating the first start time in program B. 
Now note, programs A and B stack, or that means they start one after each other. And I could set program B to actually start at the same time as program A. So I would toggle to program B with the button in the upper left hand corner, and then simply set the value with the adjust value buttons on the far right side to 8 a.m. again. Scrolling 8 a.m. until the a.m. and p.m. align, so we are looking for a.m. At this point, I program program A and program B to both start at 8 a.m. What this means is that program A, all the zones included in that area, would complete their irrigation cycle before program B comes on. At that point, program B would come on to complete the rest of the zones included in that area. Step three, setting zone run time. Zone run times are going to relate to the programs we learned in the earlier step. Um, let's say, for instance, in your own home, you have six zones. Three of those zones being turf zones, and three of those zones being shrubs or flowers. Notice, when you go to zone run times, you'll notice the number indicated in the left-hand side of the screen is the actual zone, or where the sprinklers operate in your area. If you're not sure, at this time it might be good to draw a quick sketch of your yard and locate those sprinklers on that sketch. So at zone one, we might have rotor zones. Uh, typically, you'll see rotors, sprinklers that flood, throw further than 15 feet um, in the turf areas, and they're going to generally water 30 to 45 minutes. This is the amount of water and time that's being applied to the landscape. Second, zones four through six are going to be in shrub areas, and you typically will see sprays there, and people quite often water sprays 15 to 20 minutes. So each one of those zones will be grouped underneath the program. So notice as we set zone 1, the screen indicates 0, 1 and off. So we'll use the adjust value buttons to adjust that up. So remember zone 1, 2 and 3, we said were turf zones. We're just going to use the adjust value up button to adjust the value up to 30 minutes. Then we're going to hit the next button and adjust the value up to 30 minutes. And then we're going to hit the next button one more time indicating zone 3 and adjust the value up to 30 minutes. Also, just double check at this point that you are in program A. Now we're gonna hit the next button one more time, and you're gonna see zone four, we're gonna leave it off. Zone five, next one more time, zone five, we're gonna leave it off. Zone six, off it. At this point, take the program button and toggle it to program B. Again, we'll be back to zone one, indicating zone one is in the off mode in program B, we'll leave it off. Next again, and zone two will be in the off mode, program B. Next again, zone three will be in the off mode. Next again, zone four, we're now gonna adjust this value because it's in a different area in your landscape, and it's gonna be a spray zone. We're gonna adjust the value to 15 minutes using the adjust value button until you scroll up to 15 minutes. Now we'll hit next one more time to zone five. Again, adjust the value to 15 minutes. Next again to zone six, adjust the value to 15 minutes. At this point, we'll be able to put the controller back in run mode and the zone run times will be programmed. Step four, days to water. At this point in time, we've just grouped zones one through three on program A and we've indicated those are turf zones. The zones four through six are shrub zones on program B. So at this point, days to water on program A, we have three options. One would be to set custom days, Sunday through Saturday, simply on or off. This is the preferred method in most water restricted areas because you're going to have to custom program to your local water restriction. The second option is to water odd or even. Just simply pick odd or even days and some water restrictions base this on your actual address at your home. The third option would be interval. So I could water every two or three days or every fourth day, whatever the indication might be. Some of the areas in the United States that use interval watering are Las Vegas. So we're gonna go through the process of actually setting the days. First, we want to know that we're in program A, and if you'll see, the display right now is actually flashing days. If we want to change that value to odd, even, or interval, we'll just use the adjust value button. So hit the adjust value button so we can orient ourselves with this programming option. Uh, adjust value up will allow you to see odd or even. Adjust value up one more time and you'll see the interval display in the display. Adjust value again one more time, you'll be back to days to water. Next, hit the next button and you'll just simply see sunny display off. 
and are on, and you'll just need to toggle the adjust value button to indicate when you're irrigating on Sunday on or off. Continue hitting the next button until we complete this process all the way through Saturday. After we've done that, then the days to water for program A will be set. Now we'll need to repeat this process for program B. So I'm going to repeat it one more time so you'll be more comfortable with the programming process. Hit the program button in the upper left hand corner until you see B indicated in the display. At that point, you're going to see days flashing, and we're simply going to irrigate Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So today is Sunday. You'll see Sunday will be on, and we'll toggle the adjust value button to off. Then we'll hit next and go to Monday. We'll leave it on. Next, go to Tuesday. We'll shut it off. Next, go to Wednesday. Make sure it's on. Next, go to Thursday. We'll shut it off. Next, go to Friday. We'll make sure it's on. Next, go to Saturday and leave it off. We've now programmed both Program A and Program B for the appropriate watering schedule or days of the week. At this point, you'll be able to put the controller in the run mode, and it will water start time of 10 a.m. and it'll water Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Program A, turf zones for 30 minutes, one, two, and three. Program B, shrub zones for 15 minutes, four, five, and six. All the zones, one, two, and three, in program A will complete their watering schedule before the zones in program B come on. Thank you for watching this programming video. You have completed the programming steps for the four position standard programming for the SmartLine controller. Other features that will enable the controller to be programmed from the internet are the SmartLink option. The SmartLink option allows you to use your smartphone or tablet to program the controller. These are available at SmartLinkNetwork.com. Hour, just the hour is being displayed controller to start at 10 a.m. Uh, using the up arrow. I say the arrow button. You'll hit the next button, and you'll hit the next button. <laughs> now that's right on that side. There's no arrows. Okay. Anyway, any questions? Please call. Please call. call <laughs> please call Weathermatic uh, Technical <laughs> Services. It'll start over. Thank you for attending the first standard mode programming steps for the SmartLine controller. <laughs> Did little. Sorry. What? It's uh, somebody's uh, something with bills. Maybe uh, that's the most valuable part of your landscape, which are the plants. That's uh, um, I'm done. <laughs> All right. Do it one more time.